And welcome back to the finale of Metroid Zero Mission. Last time we got the last remaining pickups in the entire game. This time we are heading into the final boss. So we gotta go into the control room of the ship, which is the uppermost room. Of course, because that's how it always works. I could have just shot those blocks now that I'm thinking about it. So we have only one more main fight left in the game, then we have to escape. So before you actually do this fight, because it's kind of hard to focus when you're in the middle of a battle, you might want to think about an escape route. We know where we have to go, which is that ship. So, but the room is locked, so we have to fight the big bad before we can actually get to the ship. Meet Becca Ridley, the final boss of the game. He'll do a claw attack, that does a lot of damage, so watch out for that. That was four super missiles, that was pretty good. So he just fireballs, he can also shoot lasers, and he can also fire missiles off. Uh, so be very careful during this fight. He actually does, he deals a lot of damage actually. Uh, he changes from gray to purple to red as he takes damage. By the way, the space jump actually destroys those uh, missiles he fires, so an effective strategy for grinding items is actually to just space jump into the missiles. Uh, yeah, assuming you're not taking damage in that instance. I just wasted like three missiles, supers more specifically. That was kind of bad. Uh, a couple more <laughs> supers down the drain. I don't know how many missiles this guy takes on this difficulty. Yeah, the claws is the thing you have to look out for the most. The others actually don't do that much damage, but the claw takes out a lot of health. Um, now he's red, which means he's pretty close to being finished off. Thank goodness. So I'm gonna kinda play it safe and make my super missiles count since I only have four of them left. Okay, we're done. <laughs> that went surprisingly quickly, actually. And we're back to full health. Uh, now what? Uh... <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay! Uh, self-destruct! Because we didn't get enough of the- shoot! Yeah, I was like, wait, we can't actually go that way! <laughs> um... Yay, stress! But this is actually not that bad. Again, I looked at the map beforehand on purpose to familiarize myself with where I'm actually needing to go. Uh, because this is actually really stressful if you don't know where you're going, but not so bad if you do know where you're going. I, I'm not sure if you can save during this, because quite frankly, you're kind of <laughs> and not in a place where you want to be saving. Uh, yeah, the save room is locked off. Does the clock tick down? When you're paused, it doesn't. Okay, so if you want to actually consult the map, you might want to do that. I'm already pretty sure where I need to go. Um, basically backtracking how we got to the control room in the first place, because the first time we came through here, we actually did pass through that control room. Uh, coincidentally. So, uh, this is actually a nice little way to end off this remix of a game. It's definitely confusing though because Mecha Ridley and Meta Ridley are both bosses in the series. That's something I've actually not mentioned until now. Actually, no, I don't want to do the slow strats. Want to go up here? I said I want to go up here. Oh gosh, this this guy's here. <laughs> Move faster! <laughs> Move faster! Not the time. I'm not sure if this is actually faster or not. Now that I'm actually giving it some thought, this might actually be slower. <laughs> um. This is going to be way slower than if I just bombed through all of that, actually. Yeah, that was a waste of time. The good news is it's just around the corner, it's just through there, so probably going to go- Oh, that one's locked. That's good to keep in mind, that some doors are actually locked. So you actually have to go the long way occasionally. I'm sure if you're amazing at shine sparking, this is actually a lot easier. Uh, oh gosh, we have to do another one of these jerks. Please, can I do something about them, please? 
Nope, just gotta sit it out, cause this game wants to make you sweat it out a little bit. I'm also not sure if the time limit changes on higher difficulties or not. That's actually something to look up. Uh, okay. We can actually do a Shine Spark through there, which would be a lot faster. But then again, how the heck do you do a Shine Spark? Wow, that would take you like all the way through, wouldn't it? So, drop down here. Got these two black enemies guarding. Wait, how do I defeat these? Power Bomb, please. Wow, even Power Bomb doesn't do anything. Uh, just Charge Beam. Uh, okay, so Bun Mash as fast as you can, I guess. Uh, there we go. Oh, hi! <laughs> Not expect you. Mission accomplished. So we get credits. So we beat the game. Wow, that was short. Um, the good news is this game actually has a lot of bonus content. So I guess we can once more squeeze the bonus content in with the regular video. So on the whole, the game is actually really well made. It's a really good update to the original. An update of 2 is sorely needed, but luckily we got that last year for the 30th anniversary, and by the way, it's technically still the 30th anniversary because it's not August yet. <laughs> so technically, 30th anniversary let's play on a technicality, not the same year, but within that year. On the whole, I'm not the biggest Metroid fan as I've stated before, but on the whole I do like the series. I like this particular entry, I like the Prime games, well at least a couple of them. I'm not the biggest fan of Super, oddly enough, so I don't know what to do next. I guess the next game chronologically would technically be AM2R, because there's no way I will be playing through the original to uh, Metro 2 because that game is archaic and not fun to play at all. So if I were to play one, it would actually be uh, AM2R probably. Uh, this game is probably a, one of the best starting places for the series, like if you're just getting into it, this is probably the best game to start with, um, because it kind of sets up everything. Plus it's actually the first chronologically, though Metroid and Canon don't exactly go hand in hand, because it gets really convoluted uh, when you get to um, the Prime games, because the Prime games are kind of in this own little sub-universe, so technically, I... I don't know if Prime t Prime 1 through Federation Force or 2 would actually be next chronologically, so that would also determine the order I play these games. So let's see your stats, because every time you beat a Metro game, it actually tells you your stats. Uh, we got the 100% ending, obviously, but we didn't get any like speed one bonus, obviously. <laughs> uh, 327. Yeah, that's about what I expected. But we got 100% of the items, so that's something. You get an ending for beating the game in under 2 hours, 100%. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> uh, that is so not happening. But hey, we beat the game at all. I've never done this 100% before, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, we just get Samus in armor because we didn't speedrun the game. That's actually a tradition in the series. Uh, we got a couple bonuses that we can go through. Uh, not going to spend the whole video. Also, by the way, something else. Um, if you actually continue 
from your save, you might think to yourself, oh, actually this is not the right save, this is actually a really old save, but it actually gives you completion stats. So that's something really good to keep in mind, is it actually tells you where everything you're missing is, roughly, uh, in a particular area. So, like, this was the file I loaded up at the beginning of, like, the last video. So there's still one super missile and one power bomb and two missiles in this area, which I, of course, got last time. So that's just a nice little feature. And it also tells you your time, so that, that also makes things a lot easier. So... Um, back to this menu, let's go over some of the bonuses. I think they're in options. Yeah, options. You get a gallery, which just shows all the completion images. I think it plays them like in sequence, and like, I'm accidentally skipping it. Uh, so yeah, it's not the easiest thing to navigate in the world. Yeah, that's the ending image we just unlocked. And that's also the only one we've unlocked. So I'm not sure if there's like a, a way we can actually move it around. That's pretty cool. But we only have one image, so not a whole lot to look at. Fusion, you can connect the games, as I've said before, to unlock special gallery images. Uh, but this is the virtual console, so we can't actually do that. One of the biggest bonuses in this particular game, though, is... You can actually unlock the original Metroid. Now, for the duration of the video, because we still have like, what, eight, nine minutes left? I'm just gonna play the original Metroid. This game plays terribly. Um, you start off with only 30 energy, which is weird, even though your max is actually 99. No directional aiming, no crouching. Um, that kind of stiff feeling that you get out of old uh, Nintendo games. Uh, yeah, they've definitely loosened up the control scheme a lot in the future, because the controls in this game feel really tight, not very loose. You can't crouch so you actually have to wait till those guys actually walk into the right alignment to actually um, damage them because they're too low to the ground normally. Uh, we don't have the long beam by the way also this frame rate is glorious. But yeah this game is tough. Uh, well the enemy actually damages you when it explodes. That's fun. Yeah, see, I'm almost already dead. <laughs> uh, not surprised in the slightest. Wow, this beam is a lot shorter than I recall. Um, okay, I'm gonna wait for... Wow, this guy's persistent. <laughs> Just a bit. Okay, so that did not go as planned. <laughs> okay, we're dead. I am not surprised by that outcome at all. This game didn't have, even have like save states or saves, it just had like passwords basically. This version I think does save, so that's a little bit better. Um, if you continue, of course, you start off with all the power ups you have, I think. So yeah, we can morph ball still. I can't say I'm the biggest fan of the original Metroid, it's, it's not aged well. It, Definitely needed a remake. Like some games like Zelda 1, I'd say hold up e enough so that you don't even need a remake of it. It's good enough as is. I mean, I think there are fan remakes of Zelda 1. Uh, but, um, it's not really as necessary as with this game because this game has not stood the test of time. It's pretty bad. I mean, I'm coming at this game from the standpoint of a kid in 2000. Not a kid, a. Well, actually, when I played this, I would have been a kid. A kid in, like, 2000? It's not even that late. Wow. Wait, actually, no, that is right. 2000s. So, it felt really terrible when I first played it. I played it as, like, a teenager on 3DS, which probably wasn't the best place to play this game on, but I had it because I got a 3DS earlier than, uh... The price drop. So, uh, yeah, got 30 free games. Some of them, wow, I've actually let's play two of those games already, now that I think about it, because I also let's play Minish Cap already. Um, that was one of the Ambassador games. But yeah, the Ambassador program was pretty solid, actually, in terms of giving a lot of really good games. That is, why did I start sliding there? Um, I'm also not sure if this video will turn out well because the frame rate's taking so many no nose dives. That can't really be good for the capture. <laughs> um, 
And you also don't have a map, so pausing the game just pauses the game, no items or anything. And I'm trying to find the long beam if you're wondering what I'm actually trying to accomplish right now. Uh, that's my first goal. Man, that beeping. Make it stop, please. Uh, but hey, guess your attention, it's definitely ominous enough. But yeah, it's basically the same game as you can see, but it's just very, very upgraded. Nope, this is probably the lava room. Or what would be the lava room later on. So, I'm not gonna play through this whole thing, <laughs> obviously, because... Yeah, this game doesn't really play that well. I think they did change the location of the long beam because I'm could have sworn there's a door to the left, but that might be the other hallway. Okay, maybe falling as fast as I can is not the best strategy. There also aren't save rooms, I don't think. I think you just have to start at the beginning of each area, so it's a lot less forgiving in that regard. The game can barely keep up. Um, which is often the case, this might be the long beam, and once we get the long beam, I think we might end off because I'm almost dead. This is definitely the long beam room. The music changed. Uh, <laughs> run! <laughs> as fast as- oh. I'm trying to remember, I don't think we actually needed- I think we could get the long beam before missiles. So I messed up. Yeah, I don't know this version very well. I don't know the other version very well either. So, um... On the whole, it's a nice little trip down um, memory lane of gaming, but it's not really something that's gonna <laughs> win awards by today's standards. I guess that's the best way to put the original Metroid. Um, I'm also not sure how you're supposed to exit this, <laughs> and if you like when you're oh wait wait that just kicks you back to this menu. Okay, we're good. Oh wow, that was fun. That was actually really fun re revisiting this game after many years. I hope you enjoyed this playthrough too, as much failure as there was, to be honest. I did not play very well. I played worse than Super Mario 64 at least. Um, closing thoughts, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. It's just, I'm not... I don't have a ton of like nostalgia for Metroid other than being a teen when I first played it. Metroid was one of the later Nintendo series I really got into, so I don't have, like, tons of memories of it. But I do enjoy this game. I enjoy a lot of the 2D Metroids. I enjoy a lot of the 3D Metroids. Maybe there'll be a Prime announced at E3, which, actually, by the time this video goes up, I think E3 would've already happened. <laughs> Never mind. So, I guess on that note, we're ending off here. Thank you for watching, and I hope you join me next time for more. Well, I haven't decided what to play next, but whatever it is, see you then.